Well, that escalated quickly. Um, had a message from the old FB marketplace. Tried to sell the bed, had two people respond. First one actually showed up, which amazed me. But then he figured out it was too bad to put on a three quarter, too big to put on a three quarter ton truck. Yeah, okay, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, I'm, I'm agreeing with that. But second guy is supposed to be here at 10 in the morning. So yeah, the lift was an awesome way to take the bed off. Uh, last minute, I just thought of it. I was envisioning bulldozers and tractors and hoists and all kinds of come alongs and things and everything else was going through my head. And then I just happened to look at the truck, looked at the lift and said, Ooh, that'll fit. We're doing it. And luckily it, uh, it picked it up pretty good. But as you can see, I took the pin out of the back, which that's a huge hinge pin. And yes, I did have to hammer it out an eighth of an inch all the way through at a time. It was a lot of hammering going on, yes. But uh, frame looks good. Too bad it'll never be a dump truck or a fire truck again. But uh, yeah, still need a home for that giant rear end. And the splicer five speed and the front end. And I ran the casting numbers and sad news, it's a 348. It's not a 409, but oh well. Still a W block, it still runs and it's only got 32,000 miles on it. So somebody will want it. But, uh, yeah, it escalated quickly, front end off. Now, rear axle's got to come out, motor transmission out, front axle off, and then it's going to Wolf Speed Shop. But, uh, like I say, hopefully the guy comes and gets these in the morning. And we had to tie up the cylinders. They kept wanting to fall down. So they were nice, huge cylinders. It was a well-built dump bed. I think the sticker, let's see, was on Godwin Manufacturing Company, Dunn, North Carolina. Hmm. Never heard of them, but okay. Looks like they, they did a real good job. So we'll give them credit for that. Um, and it has the little hydraulic tank. Basically, whenever the PTO shaft is turning, you're creating pressure. Then the cable went through here, and there was an arm connected to the valve body, and that was either your lower or raise. And that's how you move the bed. So... But yeah, hopefully more progress tomorrow. Bed gone, engine out, axles. Yeah, we're gonna strip it, send it down the road. All right, thanks for watching. And of course, if you haven't already, please give us a subscribe. And as always, thank you, Lord. Thank you for today.